older parent having a baby at 39. On the other hand, 92% of women, even at age 45 or 46, will have offspring with normal chromosomes. Where is it? Right here. Okay. Yet there are more options for older mothers to be aware of risks, starting with a diabetes screening. I did that just last week. Do that. Okay. You want orange or lemon lime? Uh, orange. Okay. The nurse had me drink a very sweet concoction, then wait an hour and have blood drawn. I can't walk. Yeah, I that's can't fine. these things. Screening for gestational diabetes, and sometimes there'll be a familial tendency for diabetes that you're not aware of, and this is simply a screen. If that's positive, then we do a full three-hour test, which mm -hmm. takes a whole morning. An optional test for expectant moms between 14 and 20 weeks, regardless of age, is the blood test for AFP. That, along with age, help us define the probability of a woman with a chromosomal problem. And so we have serum screening tests now with uh, alpha fetoprotein, AFP. If that test detects possible problems, doctors often recommend a level two ultrasound. There are very few of the major mm -hmm. uh, problems that we would miss w with an exam like this. Thankfully, no problems were detected for me. But I went through the level two ultrasound to get an idea of how detailed the picture is. Now we're looking right inside the baby's head. You can see the division of the brain. And it is amazing. This is the tip of the nose right here. What I'm doing is I'm looking at the baby's upper lip to make sure there's no clefting of the upper lip or any clefting. This is baby's spine. At 27 weeks, they can tell my baby's spine is intact. But for some women whose fetuses do show signs of spina bifida, in rare cases, Doctors are performing experimental surgery on the baby's spine in the uterus. Well, we've had a few patients we've sent down who've come back with good result, but we don't know the long-term follow-up on the babies. For the 35 and older set with a family history of chromosomal problems like Down syndrome, doctors often suggest another test called the chorionic villi sampling, or CVS. It's performed during an ultrasound to help guide the doctor. A very thin catheter, flexible catheter, is guided into the, into the placental space and a small amount of tissue is aspirated, that is uh, by suction aspiration. Yeah. Probably gonna um, push your head An back. even more definitive test is amniocentesis. Many women past the age of 35 choose to have amnio. Why age 35? Because that's when the risks of finding a problem are greater than the risks posed by the tests. Gonna feel and so a needle. a needle is inserted into uh, the uterus under direct ultrasound guidance and uh, a small amount of fluid is retrieved, about a tablespoon. Uh, that fluid then is analyzed. The results are so accurate that they can give you, I think the more information the better as far as I'm concerned to prepare for the future. So we always take a complete history. Genetic counselors like Sherry Baldinger agree that a lot of people misperceive that people who seek prenatal testing do so only uh, if they're interested to terminate a pregnancy. And that's just not true. Very good. So the prognosis from medical science for older moms? Although their risks are higher uh, for these problems, uh, the likelihood of detection is also significantly higher than it would have been uh, 15 years ago. And the advice from experienced Andrew, moms. you're going to need this one. Um, it, it's wonderful. It's the unbelievable, most precious miracle that you'll ever experience. And just enjoy each moment.